Welcome to the review on the Coax to Fish Next Gen 11. Welcome to the review on the Coax to Fish Next Gen 11. Uh, a new kayak that hasn't been out too long on the market but is very controversial for one simple thing is that they have copied the Mirage Drive from Hobie. Now Hobie have been the, the top selling kayak and the number one kayak worldwide for a long time but at the end of their patent for the Mirage Drive which made them famous has brought out a lot of copies of a system that has been brilliant. I've been using Hobies for over 10 years and I can't praise them enough. Brilliant kayaks, made in the USA and really awesome in every way. Only one thing with the Hobies is because they've had the monopoly on the market with their Mirage Drive system, they can charge what they like and they do charge the earth. And in over 10 years of me owning numerous Hobies, I've never had the pleasure of owning a brand new one simply for the fact that they cost thousands and thousands of dollars so I have to buy pre-used. Pre Whilst using my Hobies I come across uh, some great paddle kayaks as I was looking for a paddle kayak just to, for my upper body strength and I wanted something a bit different because I'm always out pedalling in my Hobie and I come across these kayaks, the fish kayaks. After finding out how good the quality was I became a distributor, a dealer and so I've been selling those and using my Hobie. But now that the new pedal system's come out, I must say I'm converted and now I own my own brand new pedal drive system kayak. These pedal systems, they're just brilliant in every way. These ones, when you look at it and you look at the quality, you're pretty much getting everything that Hobie's got to offer. They've copied it down to a T. You know, it's, it's good that they didn't try and improve such a perfect system. Now Hobie have gone to extreme lengths and made even better systems that go in reverse, 360. Obviously the uh, kayaks to fish haven't come up with that. And I don't know if there's patents out on that, but um, this is the only system that's being copied at the moment. And this is the system that I've been using for over 10 years and, and I love it as a lot of people do, because hands-free kayaking and fishing and just saving energy by just using pedals rather than paddles is just the best way to fish and the best way to get on the water and spend the whole day without your shoulders getting burnt out, you know, and being able to fight fish, chase them and drag up big fish, this system is the go. So just let me take you over the overall design of the kayak next gen 11 overall presentation they look mint like they are an awesome kayak i love the design they're they're really slim in the water they don't sit really high yet they're really wide which you know they're going to be really stable and what i have found that with the stability with the wide kayak you can stand on this i love this padding that they've got it's just awesome to look at it's great you know you can put one foot there one foot there cast and retrieve and catch fish but the only thing is you know you need to be calm waters for that and even with most model kayaks you don't want to be standing up when it gets rough that's for sure okay i've added a gps sounder to mine but that obviously doesn't come with the kayak now what they do have for one of those sounders as most of the Quacks fish models is a transducer hole underneath which you can't see it makes it really simple for installing transducers so you can run your system through here to your sounder and store all your batteries up the front which is unusual most most people are storing them inside the hull or for your batteries or under your seat and I find this is really handy because even though you might think it's a, a con that uh, 
as opposed to a pro not having a spot up the front for storage but I find that when you're going to those storage hatches right at the front of your kayak that's when your best opportunity for you to tip like you really want everything within reach this is your best spot to store any uh, tackle or anything that you want easy to get to or just behind the seat now in saying that this is just tiny small you can get little tackle boxes that fit in there which is great for little bits of tackle and all that but that is one of the cons I'd say with this kayak it's just not enough room for little extras you know, but I was in a pro angler, which is a massive hobby before this, so I'm used to having a lot more storage. I've found that you can buy these extras, which I've got, and you can slide pliers, all sorts of bits and pieces in here, but that's an added extra. And also, you can get these extras from the kayaks to fish. So I also sell these, which is great, you know, for putting water bottles and stuff. That's what I normally use this for. Now the back section, it's got these straps, which is quite handy if you want to, you know, stick your thongs down the back there or flip flops or whatever you want to call them, um, or an esky. Um, this section here, they've left without the, the straps, which is probably why you can put your extras on there, where you can bolt on stabilizers, which hang out both sides. They are awesome, awesome feature. So if you are going to stand up on these kayaks, which um, I probably do a lot, I do a lot of fly fishing. Might be a, a handy option to, to get the stabilizers, which I'm probably looking at doing, which I, I did for my next gen 10. And yeah, I found it, give it gave it a lot more stability. So overall, there's not much I... Overall, value for money, I'm very impressed with these kayaks. And I can say, that these pedal systems are costing you over a thousand dollars for an original Hobie so it's not going to cost you much more to get the whole kayak so yeah let's just think about that for a moment and I like to have a spare set of these pedals I've been out with my Hobie miles offshore and you find something goes wrong with your pedals and that happens you know because I'm always using second-hand kayaks you find them, it's a long paddle in when you're five to ten guys offshore so now that they're a lot cheaper you can afford to have a spare set which you could probably sit down the back here so one of the only negatives i'd say would be the storage the amount of storage but it's not an overly massive kayak and if you set up a nice tackle bag and get it all right you can fit quite a lot in here one thing i really love too is these grooves so you can sit extra rods next to you when you're not using them. It's a handy little spot so they're not hanging over the side and at risk of falling over. With these um, pedal rest systems, I'm not sure what they're for. They look a little plastic and tacky. I thought I'd be taking them off but when I got out there I actually found that they were quite comfy putting my feet there. So that's an option to take those away but you know you might like them there i'm going to leave mine there now and they're they're adjustable real simple system in and out so that's that's pretty handy so it doesn't matter uh how tall you are or it'll it'll be perfect for you anybody's height oh another thing which is different from your next gen 10s and 9s it's an adjustable seat the seat's the same which is an awesome seat i find them to be really comfy but this one's adjustable so it clips into here the whole seat moves forwards back you can lock it in place wherever you like so which is good because you've got the pedal system and you know not everyone's legs are the same length are they okay you've also got two rod holders here you know patrolling and a couple of these rails which are handy a lot of different things can come in here and as I was saying, for storage, you can buy um, pouches that clip in there over the side, more extra bits you can put in. So they have thought about extra storage. 
Oh, one other thing that I reckon is a great, great thing is the actual rudder system. Because you're running pedals, you're using this control by hand to steer the kayak. But if you look underneath, that rudder, the base of the kayak sits lower than the rudder. So there's no need to clip that rudder up. It's not like uh, most systems where it can get in the way, you hit a shallow reef. It's actually in a really good spot. And when I tested it, I was pretty impressed with how the rudder system worked, how well it steered. Not as responsive as a Hobie, but you know, good enough. Yeah, so overall, very impressed about this kayak. And for the price, you're getting a lot of kayak. And I doubt there's gonna be anyone that can really compete at this price and quality.